Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to TRG Central. This is episode 4 of the TRG 2023 preplay of the Triple Crown series. Tonight we'll populate the field for both the Belmont Stakes and the Acorn Stakes based on the real life fields for each race. We are using the Windows version of the Thoroughbred Horse Racing Game, published by ASGGames.com. The set we'll be using is their latest offering, the 2023 Road to the Triple Crown subscription service. So, let's get started. Okay, the first thing we need to do is to bring up the data disk that has the Triple Crown. Right now, this is this is the main thing that this, the 2022 Road to the Triple Crown. This is one where we have our own uh, <coughs> uh, schedule that we created and ran the, the preliminary Triple Crown races based on the real life uh, <coughs> entry. But we just want to run the Triple Crown as is. So we'll go to the data test utility and we'll activate our user data test that we created for this uh, series and that's the triple crown preplay. You can see the U there, that means that's your user data test compared to the official data test here. Okay, so that's activated. And we'll go over to the schedules and run the schedule and this is the Triple Crown series. Uh, let's see if we have a race for the, I'm sorry, the Acorn Stakes. There's the uh, horses entered in the Acorn Stakes, so that looks good. We'll back it up and take a look at the uh, Belmont Stakes. And that looks good too. So now we have the schedule knowing that both races have the, the fields. So, <clears throat> if you remember in previous episodes, if We've run uh, some heat races, preliminary races, because the official fields were greater than 10 horses. And in this case, the Acorn Stakes only had eight entries in real life, and the Belmont Stakes had nine. Now, of course, this is being done a couple of days before the actual races, so there is always that possibility that a horse or two may be scratched before the official post time on Saturday. So we're not going to wait until then to run our races. We'll run with the official fields as of Wednesday, June 7, 2023. So we're not going to do anything with uh, randomizing post positions. Those are the official post positions. And we don't need to scratch anything, so we we'll just go ahead and lock both fields in. And again, we'll go ahead and just view the fields here. And here's the acorn stakes. You see, towards me, the randomized, boss the O2, occult, money's gold, pretty mischievous, good girl, bad habit, and a sad. Interesting. Things of note that Chad Brown has three horses entered. Todd Pelcher has one. No, two. I'm sorry, has two horses entered. Let's take a look at the Belmont Stakes. He has Tippet Chew, Tippet Trice, Acangolio, sure, uh, National Treasure. I, I, Macaulay, Forte, Hit Show, 
Angel of Empire and Red Route 1. Take a look at the trainers. You have Brad Cox with 3, Todd Belcher with 2, and Bob Baffert with 1. Entry in the race. Okay. Let's go back to the schedule and we'll go ahead and and start the races. Okay, Acorn Stakes, three year old Philly, one one sixteen round, that's eight point five furlongs, grade one race, and we're ready to start the race. Okay. Again we've already have the post positions correct. Uh, as of this recording, we have no idea what the track condition is going to be. Most likely it would be fast. And here's the morning line. As you see, it's very interesting race. If Benny Materia doesn't win, there seems to be a host of horses that could come in right behind her, or, let's see, we have Lord Raider, and Mummy is Gold, Ascent, uh, like you said, take a look at the morning line, it, <coughs> it has pretty mischievous as the overwhelming favorite, and it looks like an up your grass for second, third, and fourth. Go ahead and get to uh, to the track. And we're at Belmont Park. You can see the eight and a half furlongs is starting up in the upper right side. We'll take a quick look at the Spectator mode. Oh, regulator. Hello. That seemed to be fine for all the other races that we've been recording, so we'll leave it alone. As you can see, I've been uh, experimenting with a different uh, user interface down at the bottom to control the horses. Of course, as you know, if we run in spectator mode, there's no need for that, but as you see, I put under the whip down here in the same location as you roll. So you can either roll the dice and get the regular result, or you can click on under the whip to use the under the whip column. And we'll just go ahead and click on one. We'll do a set. And what I'm saying here is if you do a regular roll, you're in the first column. If you do it under the whip roll, you'll go directly to the second column. The other way to activate the second column is if you roll a zero in the first column. And as you see, we kind of moved all of this together. And I think that's about here. So let's go ahead and do the field. Post Bishop 1 is Dorth Rainer. Random by John and Venezuela. Post 2 is Random by Miguel Franco. Post 3, Facio 2, Luis Cias. Occult in 4, Jose Ortiz. Money is Gold. Post position five, Irad Ortiz Jr. Post position six, odds on favorite, pretty mischievous with Ty Galfiani. Post position seven, good girl, bad habit. Javon Salino. And post position eight, Estee Flavian Brown. Now just quick going over, this is the, uh, 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 let's go back here. We are using uh, issue three of the road 
to the triple crown subscription service, which added a few more horses to the subscription service. I say there was one, uh, what was the other ones? Uh, Post Mission 5 Mummy Thought was a new horse, and I think the other one was Randomized, and two. These three horses uh, <clears throat> had not run in any previous uh, triple crown races to be have been added to the service before issue three. Let me get the rest of how long horses are. Uh, we can do uh, One more thing you may want to do here. I'm going to back out of this for a second. Let me go here. I, we can view fast performances and see if, if the horses that run in the, either other for crowd rates. Here we go. We see Thor's Fader ran in the Kentucky Hopes. And he's stubborn. Hotel 2 ran in the Black Eyed Susan. Looks like in the prelim race and then in the finals. And this is the prelim and that's the final. Mummy's Gold and Kick Your Bad Habit. That's another. It was Mummy's Gold, Kick Your Bad Habit, Randomize, and the Sun were all the horses that did not receive a card before. And here's a cult. She receives a horse in our very first uh, issue zero. I have not ever run, did not run in either of the two triple Tierra races. And then the other one, Pretty Machibias. You see in the Kentucky Oaks. And in the preliminary race and the finals. So, as you can see, there's hardly any horse, there's only one, two, three horses that even participated in any other triple hero race. So let's go ahead and get back out to the racetrack. And we've already introduced all the horses. So let's go ahead and get the race started. And looks like to a tower is giving up the okay and they're off. Hey, out of the gate we have plenty of achievements with the lead, but Fatiel too will just pass them in the back track. Yeah, it looks like Frosty O'Toole too has a little bit of lead and a cane on the outside and came in second now we have a bunched up for second, third and fourth. We go into the back turn. And we have six. That's pretty much him. You just finally taken over the lead, but Money's goal is just took it right back. So we're having an interesting final here. And there we come to um stretch and it looks like it's gonna be pretty much with was Frosty two and Money's goal vying for a second. Let's go ahead to the Top four, and we have Pretty Machimi as our all-time favorite winning the race. Money's goal second, Fratio to third, and that's Kate third. And the winning Pretty Machimi picked up $300,000. Okay, so that's the uh, acorn stakes. Let's go ahead and do the... Uh, Horses for the well, let's do the same thing here. Let's back up and let's do this one more time. View the field, and you have tap and shoot, tap it twice, and kill you. National treasure. I, I'm Carlo, Forte, Hitchell, 
Angel Empire Red Red One. Okay. Let's go ahead and run the next scheduled race. Someone takes one and a half miles at the 12 furlongs, rate one. And these are the points that they'll win for second, third, and fourth. So, here's the uh, <coughs> field and the morning line. And we have a couple favorites in Forte and Angel Empire. Everybody else is, uh, looks like anyone and has a chance for third and fourth. So I have here the past performances. You see the uh, tap it twice was in the Kentucky Derby. National Treasure was in Freakness, Forte ran in the Kentucky Derby and finished first. Hit Show ran in the Kentucky Derby. And Angel Empire also ran in the Kentucky Derby. So we all, oh, and then we have Red Route 1 and the Freakness. So we have two Freakness runners. And four Kentucky Derby runners, three that did not run in any of the Triple Crown races, and none of the horses ran in both the Freakness and the Kentucky Derby. Very interesting. Okay, and again, that's the morning line. Let's go ahead and get to the racetrack at Belmont Park. Go through the horses again. Okay. Tap and choose with Jose Ortiz. Tap it twice with Luis Sias. Art Angelo with Javier Cataliano. And post position three, post position four, National Treasure. And John Lenzco. Uh, a lens, yeah, let's go to the next one. Position 5, uh, uh, Maracolo, Marcus Maniz, Forte, and position 5, 6 with Ivan Ortiz Jr. Post position 7 is Hit Show with Manuel Franco. Post position 8, Angel, Empire, Flavian, Pratt, and out in post position 9, Red Root 1 with Joe Rosario. Okay, so that's the, uh, <coughs> that's the field. Let's go ahead and get this race started. Stuart Tower says everything's a go, so we're off. Out of the gate first was National Treasure. Lay the pack in the first turn, it looks like it. I, I, McCullough and Red Route 1. Moving into the back stretch, we have Forte with the lead. And it just got passed up by National Treasure and Angel Empire here in the back stretch. And we have a three-way tie in the back thrust. National Empire, Angel, National Treasure, Angel, Empire, and Forte. So we have, it looks like a, right now, a three-horse race. Although Red Root 1 is trying to catch up in fourth, but I do not think anybody from fourth on is going to catch the top three. We have all around into the our turn and we're into the home stretch. We have Angel Empire with the lead, followed by National Treasure of Forte. And it looks like that's the way it's going to end up. Whoa, looks like Forte may have passed National Treasure for a second. Let's go ahead and go to the top board for the final official result. And then Angel Empire of Forte, National Treasure. 
and tap it twice. Okay. So that's it from Almond Park. Let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, top 10. Now this is just for the three Triple Crown races. Remember there were some heat races, so some horses may run uh, three races, even though they didn't run in all three of the Triple Crown and Triple Sierra races. And there you go, it looks like Forte did the best with two wins in the plate, picked up two, a little over $2 million and had 210 victory points. So uh, there's your top 12. Actually, that was our top 20. Have Angel Empire with the victory, Mage with the victory, Promisero America won, 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 Pretty Machimia, and Cat in the Timber. So, I think that's gonna be it, it here from TRG Central. This is Gary signing off. The evening. Hope you had a wonderful time watching the replay of the Belmont Stakes and Acorn Stakes here on TRG Central. Good night.